Hey everyone, this is Paul from Intro to DJing. And in this video, what I'm gonna do is talk about multi-tags here in Rekordbox. Now, multi-tags are great for when you wanna search for songs that basically have multiple attributes. So I may wanna have a song that shows up both when I search for 90s tracks and for hip hop tracks, like a 90s hip hop song. And similarly, I may wanna only find songs that match both of those attributes. I may only wanna find 90s hip hop tracks. And most of the time it's really confusing in your DJ applications because you're basically like, how do I pick a genre for this when there are multiple things I wanna have it do? So in this case, what we're going to use is multi-tags for this. Now, one of the things, unlike all the other DJ applications, is Rekordbox actually has its own system for tagging called MyTag, which is really neat. However, I find it more helpful or just easier for me to do this system the old school way and use my own system for doing this. I also want to thank the people at Digital DJ Tips. They were the ones who originally came up with this idea, at least in Tractor, and I've sort of manipulated the system and made it my own, and I would encourage you to do the same thing. Find a system that works for you, but this can be really inspiring and helpful. So in order to have multi-tags, we need to choose an ID3 field that's searchable so we can actually filter through our tracks. Then what we need to do is actually create tags or tag delineators for looking for these tags. Unfortunately, unlike Serato and Virtual DJ, not all of the fields here in Rekordbox are searchable. So under the search bar, we can see there are only certain fields that are searchable. So what I'm gonna choose for this one is I'm actually gonna choose the mix name. I don't really use the mix name for anything myself, but if you do use the mix name, then maybe something like the label, the remixer, the original artist may be more helpful, or perhaps the composer. So knowing that mix name is an allowable field, I'm going to right click in the header and add in mix name as a, as a field we can see. And as you see here, I've filled in basically for all of my songs, all of the different tags in. Now, what I do here is I use square brackets and then three characters in the middle to delineate certain things that are important about the song. So maybe that it's a song that came out in the 2000s. I try to do decades. Then I do something about genre like R&B. And then what I'll do after is something like an activity, when I would play it, something like that. STR is a tag I use to say something that I would start off the night with early in the set. I use LTE to say like a late night type of track. I use BAN for like a banger. This would be like a peak time type of track. DIN, this is like a dinner type song. And as a result, I basically created this system where I, I just know what these tags are. And I even have a little Excel sheet where I have what it is and then a description of it. So I know, but when you get to doing this, you'll actually just remember because you know, you're the one who created the system and went through all your music. And I would say, yes, it takes a lot of time to do this, but it's worth it because you can go search through your songs. For instance, this song comes up when I search for 90s, Latin or salsa. And similarly, I can also look for just 90 salsa songs by just tapping in these tags. So how do we set these tags here in Rekordbox? Well, what I'm gonna do is find an, untrag an untagged track like this. And what we're gonna do is just put the information here in this mix name field, at least that's what I'm gonna do. But if you wanna use a different field, just basically interpolate and do it on the way you wanna do it. So this track, if I drag it in, is kind of an R&B track. It's a mix that I did for a buddy of mine. And would be something I would either play really early on in the night or later. So I'm going to click on the I to open up the track info. And under the mix name, I'm going to add some attributes. So I'm going to say this is a track that came out in the 20s. It's an R&B type track. And it's something I would either start the night with or end late. I'm using LTE for late because LAT I'm using for Latin music. Hit enter, and sure enough, boom, it's going to show up here under the mix name. Now, here's where we get to have fun. By going here in the search bar, we can actually search for these tags. So if I wanna find all my 90s tracks, I simply use my tag delineator, which are square brackets, and sure enough, there are all my 90s songs. Similarly, if I wanna find all of my hip hop songs, I just use the tag for hip hop, HHR, hip hop rap. And if I wanna find both, I can simply just write both tags. So I have hip hop rap with a space and then the other tag that I wanna search for. And you can do this as many times as you want. Thing that's really important is be sure you have a space between your tag delineators when you add them to the track, which I've done here. So now I'm looking for all of my hip hop songs that came out in the 90s. And if I wanna add something else, like songs that I could use to start off the night, I can add in additional tags as well. 
One thing that's important to note, the order here does not matter. I can basically do this in any order and that's the beauty of the multi-tag system because I'm using a space as a delineator. So once again, it's cool to have a system like this. Find out what attributes work best for you, how you would wanna be searching for or categorizing your music. Some general examples or guidelines are maybe when it was released, I do decades, something about the genre, and then something about the mix, like is it an acapella type of track? Is it a slam edit? Is it a transition track? These are all really helpful things as well. Find a system that works for you and then tag your music. That way you can think on your feed and search for your music in a more effective and efficient way. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.